Hello and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Solos, where we have Gengar versus Alakazam, and we are doing the Gengar run. Uh, pretty much, this is going to be our four-part video of the traded Pokemon, the Pokemon that are traded to get to their final evolution, and Gengar and Alakazam are the last ones um, of the of the four. And these two are very special because they're probably in the top three of the best Pokemon in Generation 1. But before we begin, let's go ahead and go over the rules. Pretty much, I can use no items in battle with Gengar, and I can only use Gengar in battle. And how we're going to know who wins is by the faster time and level differential. So let's take a look at Gengar and his, what he brings to the table. First off, his move pool is insane. He can run pretty much almost every move in the game. Um, his special attack is great, his speed is great, which is a great for a run, and he has immunity to normal and fighting moves. That's gold, and he has resistance to poison, so this is going to be some things that help him out a lot in this run. And yes, normal moves, not being hit by normal moves isn't great in game, but um, early stage of the game, yeah, every Pokemon has normal moves. You start off with normal moves, unless you're some type of different type of Pokemon, but everybody learns Tackle, Scratch, some type of move like that, and yeah, you can't be hit, and you'll see that in this first battle with Charmander. Charmander can't actually do anything, so it is one heck of a long battle with Lick. Uh, yeah, and then he goes for Growl, so you know, you... Um, with Lick, it is a 20 base power move. It's a ghost type move, but it's also a physical attack. And with Gengar's attack, is not great. So we're just trying to barely somehow make it through, and we do. So what we end up doing is I end up getting at level 12. And so I leveled up a little bit before I actually went up and faced Brock. And the reason for that is once you hit, once we get to level 13, the game changes a little bit. You know, just a tad bit, but it is a definite game changer once you get 13, so I wanted to be able to have that while going into the Onyx run. So like I said, we trained ourselves up to level 12, and then here we go, we're going to have this one heck of a battle with Geodude. <laughs> and Geodude, like I said, can't attack, but Lick, yeah, it's like watching paint dry. <laughs> this battle just takes a while and you're just watching it and there's nothing else really you could do except you know do some crazy licking and you're, he's pretty much licking rocks right now yes that is very sad and I don't know how that actually sounded but that's what I'm going with now is that he yes he's licking rocks and like I said once he finally gets rid of Geodude he goes to level 13 level 13 we learn curse you know curse is a game changer for this one battle and that's because what curse does is you lose half your hit points but it's almost like a poison effect where he's going to be you know losing life or health points for the rest of the, the rest of the battle and now you can see onyx goes for rock tomb and almost knocks me out but i go for hypnosis and hypnosis isn't as great of a move as it is in generation one should the, uh actually the same but as you can see i'm barely making it against onyx but hypnosis if they wake up and they outspeed you they're going to attack which sucks so yeah hypnosis isn't as great so we'll see how long i hang hang on to it i might hang on to the entire game we don't know but we will see so hypnosis is going for pidgeotto pidgeotto actually falls asleep which is great and we're gonna go for mega punch now like i said gengar's attack isn't great but it's the best move we actually have. I can't use Curse because, you know, I still have other Pokemon I'm facing. So I'm going to use Mega Punch against this Pidgeotto. And that's really the hardest Pokemon is Pidgeotto. Only because it has Sand Attack. It didn't actually use Sand Attack. So Abra can't actually do anything to me. So we're going to take it out there. And then we're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Charmander. Charmander is actually not too, too hard. And... Honest truth, I don't know why I went with Charmander. I knew I wasn't going to go with Bulbasaur. But I think in like 80% of the runs, you could probably just go with Blastoise. Um, and you'll be safe by having some type of difficult battle with Blastoise. But I went with Charmander. Charmander turns into Charizard. You get Gyarados. You get um, Executor, which we'll talk about later in the game. But yes, it is um, the combo I went with. So, And then you see Rattata. Rattata or oh, Rattata. Some people say Rattata, some people say Rattata. No, no, they don't actually. It's just Rattata. So, <laughs> you know, um, so we take out Rattata easily, easily, because um, Rattata doesn't have any special, and we're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Misty. Now, in the first run, we barely made it out. 
with the skin of our teeth. Misty's gonna be a little bit different. Um, we still have Mega Punch, so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can actually um, use this Hypnosis to our advantage. And I'm not talking about right now, I'm talking about once we go up against that Starmie. And you see, Mega Punch is a two hit KO, which makes me nervous because that Water Pulse did 14 hit points of damage, which makes me think if Starmie wakes up, that Water Pulse is going to do might actually knock me out. Oh. Okay, so it did about 22, so I can't actually take another one if it's a range. And oh my god, it was a range, so we barely made it. Or, oh no, we got Hypnosis on, and we go for Nightshade. Nightshade is a move that pretty much does the amount, the amount it's going to do is to your level. And voila, we make it. And so yeah, so we um, have two badges, both by the skin of our teeth, and it's looking pretty good right now. So we're going to go ahead and face Gary number three. Um, Gary three isn't too too bad you know we're gonna face this Pidgeotto Pidgeotto's once again the hardest Pokemon but now we have my one of my favorite moves in the game which I call poor man's body slam which is secret power secret power is just a 70 base power normal move but it doesn't it'll, it'll hit 100% of the time and it has a chance for paralysis which made Mega Punch it's kind of equal to Mega Punch because Mega Punch can miss and you can see I'm using it and it's doing quite well still a critical hit to eradicate and yeah we're moving on so yep that's poor man's body slam for you you have secret power um pretty much utilize it you can buy it and sell it on if you want but yeah it's a great great move for early game uh yeah so we've done that now we're gonna go ahead and face um homeboy lieutenant surge and lieutenant surge is well he's got a few concerns that I have but it won't be too big of an issue but yeah they are definitely concerns because Pikachu and Raichu their abilities is what did what you have to worry about now with Voltor we're gonna go for Shadow Punch because um, I think I could take it out and we do and then Pikachu the same thing we can take out with Shadow Punch and Shadow Punch is a physical attack so fortunately we didn't see the static but once we go with Shadow Punch here oh we didn't get it Thunder Wave but and so well didn't have to worry about it at all. So we're just gonna jump straight to Giovanni. Yeah, Lieutenant Surge was that easy. It can be that easy, and we're moving on. So Onyx actually has very horrible stat uh, special. So we're gonna go for the new combo here, which is Hypnosis to Dream Eater. Dream Eater only works with the Pokemon in sleep, and you get hit points back. So it's kind of like this good combo that I want to try to see and use if it works in this game, but it banks on so much. And as you can see, Hypnosis has missed two times in a row, three times in a row, four times in a row. And we finally put it to sleep, hallelujah, and we go for Dream Meter. Yeah, and it works. It's a great combo, but it's something that I want to hang my hat on. And we're going to try to see if it can work. We're going to try to see what we can do, because like I said, it is a great combo. If somebody's sleeping, you can use Dream Meter and get hit points back. It's a good it's a good move. So we're going to go ahead and straight into Erica. We're actually good enough level. I don't worry about what Erica has to bring and we have psychic now so yeah this shouldn't be too too difficult and I was two psychics in a row that take out um vile plume uh, not vile plume victory bell and tangela and then three psychics to take out vile plume so I should have just said vile plume to begin with screw it so yeah so we've taken out four badges now we're going up against the fourth Gary and Pidgeotto once again is going to be the biggest challenge um and so we put it to sleep we go for psychic psychic actually did this well job execute we're going for shadow punch shadow punch takes it out we're good there and now cadaver cadaver go for shadow punch super effective we're going to take it out there now we got to go against gyarados gyarados is a little bit tricky so we're going to go for hypnosis and we're just going to go for psychic see how well it does it does actually really good we get a special drop so that's good so whatever we do is going to take it out and now we're going to go up against charmeleon charmeleon is not going to be too much of an issue we're over leveled and that's what's going to happen in a run like this once you get to Gary number four you'll be probably be over leveled no matter what you do so yeah live with it and now Koga usually is one of my toughest battles because of what he can do but since Gengar is who he is wait stop just look keep looking look again yeah that's five that's six seven eight it took nine hypnosis to put it to sleep and then it wakes up <laughs> now okay ten now 
11, 12, final the 13th so two out of 13 times he goes to sleep now of course it went for minimized but the only reason I'm doing it is I knew with Koga he couldn't really actually take me out with anything so uh, I was trying to see how this could work and as you can see hypnosis the dreamer is just rough but the rest of his Pokemon to take it out with psychic so that's all I had to do to begin with but I'm trying you know things out and the reason why I'm trying them out is I need to see if these combos are gonna work for what I call the final 26 but before then we'll go ahead and face Gary number five and Gary number five comes out with wing attack doesn't do too much but we're gonna take it out a two hit combo and I execute we're gonna put the sleep we're gonna see how much shadow punch does shadow punch is still doing quite a bit so it's a good thing we put it to sleep because it does have sleep powder and stuns more which could hurt us shadow punch is gonna take out Alakazam and then we're gonna go ahead and go up this is Gyarados and Gyarados is going to start getting a little bit challenging but we put it to sleep so we're actually getting good progress against Gyarados right now but hypnosis to put it to sleep doesn't hit every time so we might have to find a new strategy against Gyarados but there are options out there and then as you can see we go ahead against go against Charizard put it to sleep a critical hit psychic and a shadow punch so Gary number five wasn't as difficult I mean this is Gengar for crying out loud if, if Gengar had issues before anybody between the tw final 26 then you know there's cause for concern because he shouldn't have any issues. Now, did I just give away the rest of the run? You'll have to wait and see. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and go against Giovanni. Giovanni's actually not gonna be too hard because he does have a Nita Reno and a Needle Queen now, and you can just use Psychic to take him out. As you can see, Psychic can actually take out his entire team, <laughs> with the exception of, um, actually not take it back, they can take out the entire team. So Psychic doesn't do too much, but it's still going to take it out because Needle Queen actually doesn't have anything that can take me out. And now we're gonna go, now we're finally getting the move that's gonna help us out and keep in the long run, Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball is the best move for ghost type Pokemon. The only problem is generation three and below still had ghost moves as a physical attack, which sucks because he doesn't have attack. He has special. But anyways, that's not a big issue. We're going to go ahead and go up against uh, Sabrina. And we have a good chance at Sabrina because, one, ghost moves are super effective. And as long as we attack first, we're not going to be hit. And these are one of the very few times that I've actually been able to go up against Sabrina. Like before the last um, gym. And so I'm pretty happy about that. So I feel good. We're cruising. We're at level 46. Let's go ahead and just get rid of Blaine real quick. Blaine's not a big issue um, unless you forget about something, which is the Intimidate. And then you forget that Shadow Ball, your stab move, is a physical move. So we got to try for something different. All right, Hypnosis is working. And you see what Shadow Ball just did. Shadow Ball did nothing. So I'm going in three hit KO with Psychic, fortunately for a critical hit. Now we're going up against Ponyta. Ponyta is going to be a two hit KO, but it's going to go for Fire Blast. It's going to go for Hypnosis, I mean Hyper Potion. And this is just one funny time. As you can see, I'll go for Hypnosis. Dream Reader doesn't work. That combo doesn't work every time. Holy moly, I'm down 11 hit points. I'm going to lose to a Ponyta. Not funny. Not funny at all. I'm going to lose to a dang Ponyta. Uh, okay, so I did lose to Ponyta, but we are going to go up against Rapidash. Rapidash is not going to give me the same type of happiness. It's going to go Fire Blast, and even though you don't see it, it goes for Fire Blast and takes me out. So we're going up against him again. And as you can see, we have some challenges because Shadow Ball, our best move, we can't use because it's Intimidate because we're down two stages in the attack. And Fire Blast destroys me. So what are our options? Our options is straight up, you know what, we can't wait. We have to go in all out attack. And so as you can see, critical hit there against Growlithe, which is awesome. And we're gonna have to keep going after Psychic's gonna do almost a little bit more than half. So Growlithe's Arcanine is gone. And now we're gonna go for Psychic again against Ponyta. Ponyta is a one hit KO. Now we're getting enough hit points for Rapidash. Fire Blast misses, so we won't know because we win. But all right. Now Giovanni, um, the eighth badge is as difficult as it can be. I guess it'd be as difficult as like opening up a banana that's already half open. <laughs> so um, yeah, he's not difficult at all. Uh, you can just see Psychic is taking care of the entire team. 
and we're going to be moving on to Gary number six. Yeah, and right here, you know, the game kind of gets a little bit difficult. It's kind of um starting to make me think and ponder what do I want to do, but not necessarily because we haven't had much except for blame there has been drawback so why would I think of anything here yeah so psychic does you know two hit KO on all Pidgeot now we go up against Alakazam Shadow Ball is going to take it out on one hit so one hit KO we'll get to Alakazam now we're going to go up against Rhyhorn Rhyhorn psychic special drop or specials weak so one hit KO there Gyarados alright let's see what we got psychic does a little more than half Hydro Pump doesn't do much of anything and we survive here comes Charizard Hypnosis miss scary face hey. Scary Face drops your speed by two levels. And that is not good. Now we got some luck. <laughs> Hypnosis worked and Charizard stayed to sleep. So let me use Dream Eater. Now we're going for Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball almost takes it out. That's not good because we're 12 levels. And that is the first form. It has an evolution called Executor. So that's a pretty cause for concern, what you just saw there, where Shadow Ball didn't take it out. So yeah, that, that actually concerned me a little bit. And you know what? We did fly through this, but it's time for the final 26. And I call them the final 26 because they're very much 26 Pokemon. Well, not all of them, but it's 26 Pokemon you really want to put strategy into. And like I said, maybe not Bruno. You know, sometimes you don't have to put strategy into Bruno, but if you are facing a, if you are using a different Pokemon or Bruno's effective too, yes, you gotta put strategy into it. But yeah, these final 26, this is it. This is what you wanna do. And so without further ado, let's throw our head right into it and let's see what we got. So I actually get a new move, Thunderbolt, when you go ahead and bought it for 80,000, don't ask. And, <laughs> and yeah, Thunderbolt is a two hit KO, but not necessarily because it's gonna use a full restore, but you know, you just use Shadow Ball and you use Thunderbolt again and boom. Dugong's gone. Alright, now it goes for Slowbro. Slowbro should be a one hit KO, but once again, Shadow Ball is an attack, and Slowbro actually has really great defense. So, yes, yeah, it's a two hit KO, and Hell is tearing me up. So, can I get through this Lapras? We're gonna go for Hypnosis. It misses. Surf takes me out. The joys of Hypnosis. <sighs> so, alright, here we go again. So, I've actually gone up a couple of levels and trying to see if this is gonna make it a little more consistent in order for me to have a battle which I don't have to have to deal with L and her name here anymore and yeah so right now it goes for Shadow I go for Thunderbolt it actually hits so Thunderbolt is doing a lot more damage than Shadow Ball was but Thunderbolt goes against Lapras it does a little more about 75% and we get Thunderbolt it's going to be gone now the good news is we're going to go up against Jinx and Cloyster that's all that's left and Cloyster you could even attack it with Psychic and I'll take it out. Um, I'm not even afraid of any move that it has. So, yep, Thunderbolt hits it, we're done. We're good. You, you can see you can use anything and it kind of will work. Shadow Wall against Jinx. Oh no, yes, there we go. Confusion. Whew, a little scary, but Jinx has weak defense and Shadow Ball is super effective, so we actually make it through. So, we're a little consistent with L insert name here. And that's my name for um, the Ice Queen that we just fought. Um, and the only reason for it, because her name is spelled, it's pronounced so many different ways. So I just say Ellen's her name here. So yeah, so things are looking a little bit consistent. Um, and so we're kind of being able to just glide through Bruno. And the main reason for it is, well, we got that funny move called Psychic. And Psychic is pretty much good against all his Pokemon. Even Onyx, because Onyx has horrible special. And with bad special, you're not getting through this at all. Um, and I'll just talk over this because we can say, because there's actually what got me also into it. There's this guy by the name of my dry bread, and he did an Onyx run, and it was abysmal, but I, I enjoyed it. So every time I face an Onyx, I think about him when I'm doing these runs. So yeah, shout out there to my dry bread. Um, that's my dry bread with an M. And yes, dry bread, yes. Uh, <laughs> so, alright, so without further ado, we're going into Agatha. Agatha here um, is going to pretty much be the same as Bruno, only because we outspeed and our moves are super effective. 
So yeah, so psychic to Gengar, psychic to Golbat. You're gonna see a psychic to I think it's Arbok, no Haunter, excuse me. And yeah, psychic is just doing its job, doing what it's supposed to, just blowing through them all, cause they can't do anything about it. Cause it's all super effective and we have high special. That's the good news about Gengar, high special and speed. Boom. And look at that. Agatha is easy. One of the very few times Agatha is pretty easy, but hey, you gotta be thankful <laughs> that you have easy parts of the final 26, because here comes Lance. And Lance has three dragons I don't like to face against Gengar, but we're gonna see what happens, because necessarily Gengar, Lance doesn't have enough to take me out, and Gyarados is a one hit KO with Thunderbolt. And Aerodactyl will be the same thing. And you, yeah, I just looked into the screen because that it was a range. So Thunderbolt was a range, and that sucks because I need to have as much health as I possibly can have going up against Dragonite. And as you can see, Hypnosis misses Outrage. Hypnosis misses Outrage. Uh, all right, let's try this again. <laughs> let's try this again. Let's see if we don't get a range on um, Aerodactyl, and we're going to level up. We're going to use the rest of our rare candies. See, we're gonna see how this goes. Thunderbolt is yep, what hey KO. Good. So I have enough health. Cause you got to you know if you're in the midst of um hypnosis, well, you gotta hope something happens. We got the special drop, which is what I was looking for, which is awesome. Alright, so now we can go for psychic. Psychic's gonna be a it's gonna be like a four hit KO, but we got through Dragonite. Dragonite's the hardest one. So all we gotta do now is take care of these psychic and hopeful uh, outrage. Okay, not that bad. And then the second Dragonite Dragonair has Thunder Wave. Will we get hit by Thunder Wave? Yes, we do, unfortunately. But it goes for Safeguard, and we hit, so we're good. Like I said, it really doesn't have anything to really hit us with. But, um, you just don't want to see... You want to get through these Pokemon as fast as possible, because we are on a time constraint. So, anyways, going on to Gary. Gary's going to be... His Pidgeot's going to be a one-hit KO with Thunderbolt. Alakazam's going to be a one-hit KO with Shadow Ball. Gyarados is going to be a one-hit KO with Thunderbolt. And so the first three Pokemon are one-hit KOs. Now, Executor. I think I've... I've never spent as much time as I did on a battle. And you can see it. It is just constant back and forth, back and forth. And the problem is, you'll see it right here. Full Restore. Executor likes to use Light Screen, which, you know, gives him special defense to the Yin Yang. And I need for that to be gone in order to take him out. But once again, I cannot, any of my moves are going to be a three hit KO. And every time, my moves will drop him into the red. Which means Gary will use a full restore. Which means Executor has a chance to put me to sleep. Which sucks. And boom, there it is. And there's the full restore. And so, yes, as you can see, this is not working um and now we're gonna see the giga drain and it is just a challenge and executor really put in the work on me and it's just it was it was comical because did i see this coming no not at all but it made me think like holy crap and you know maybe it was just me maybe i'm like you know what i'm doing something wrong and so we're going for Hypnosis. Earthquake's actually not going to be able to do anything. Go for Hypnosis again. Light Screen Wars also. Psychic should be a one-hit KO. No, it's not. Special Drop. It wakes up. Scary Face. Uh, scary Face sucks. Drops my speed by two levels. And now we got to go up against Charizard, which Fire Blast me. Yep. One-hit KO. Flawless victory. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this again. And can we actually do it this time? Well, I'm going to say this right now. Um, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. And <laughs> that's how this battle goes. Uh, I have the same exact moveset. So uh, what am I thinking here? Yes, I know that it was difficult to take out Executor, but maybe, maybe Hypnosis can hit. Maybe it'll stay asleep. Maybe I'll get a critical hit. No, special drop. That's good. Oh, I go to sleep now. Okay, never mind. Oh, there's a light screen. So now our special attacks aren't doing anything. My regular shadow wall doesn't do anything. So yeah, we're kind of once again in the standstill. And then I go for hypnosis. It goes for Giga Drain. And it's just getting its health back. Fortunately, light screen's gone. I can go attack it again. Oh, that's almost a one hit K. I mean, 
half its health. <sighs> Back in the room, and I'm asleep. Uh, I'm done. As you can see, I, I gave up. <laughs> so now we're going to actually try to go for a move. We go for Toxic. We're going to bring in Toxic. We're going to get rid of hypnosis. hypnosis. Hypnosis did its job. It's done now. Because the first three Pokemon, like I said, are one hit KOs. Thunderbolt, one hit KO. Alakazam with Shadow Ball is a one hit KO. Gyarados with Shadow Ball. I mean, that's Shadow Ball. Thunderbolt is a one hit KO. And here we go. We're going to go for Toxic. And what Toxic does is it's not going to poison him very badly. And he's going to feel the pain of this of um, this toxic so when it puts me to sleep I don't lose any health and it loses its health so boom perfect so we got a combo here that works so now we're gonna go ahead psychic oh wait what what was that <laughs> wait psychic didn't go one and now I'm scary faced oh god okay here we go we gotta go oh, oh we're alive thunderbolt oh, it goes for citrus berry oh, okay it could miss fireball no it goes for fire spin okay we're teaching giga Dray. we're getting rid of psychic now while well, you're rid of psychic you say well to be honest the combos that we've been using thunderbolt shadow ball thunderbolt <laughs> They're not having anything to do with Psychic, so we don't need Psychic for Gary anymore. And so we're gonna hope that this works out. So we got Thunderbolt to Pidgeot, we're gonna have Shadow Ball to Alakazam, all right, we're gonna have Thunderbolt to Gyarados, and then we get ready for what has been the most grueling boxing match, 12 rounds of boxing there have been in the run I've had so far. So we're going to go for Toxic. Toxic automatically going to give him poison, so he's going to be losing health no matter what. And then once we wake up, we're going to go for Giga Drain. Once we wake up, we're going to go for Giga Drain. Once we wake up, we're going to go for Giga Drain. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, he's staying asleep. Good lord. Oh, my god. So... It happens, um, don't get me wrong, this is just part of the game, and then you're going to see how Poison actually does it right, because right here, the light screen wears off, but he's hit by Poison, because it's toxic, the Poison doubles or increases, and you're going to see, this is the reason why I have Giga Drain, right here. Giga Drain is super effective against Right On, Right On has no special, and it gives me my health back, so I can take a Fire Blast against Charizard. Boom, Thunderbolt, hit, as long as we don't have a, a critical hit Fire Blast, I will have with a sliver of hope. Boom! There we go. Thunderbolt, one hit, another one, two hit KO, and we've done it. We made it. <laughs> Gengar has beaten the game. Solo at level 66. Probably a little bit higher than I wanted it, but um, that's what we're going to have to be thankful and grateful to do. To be, is we beat it under level 70. And let's see what our time is. We did it pretty fast. This is a pretty fast run. Um, I think that we did pretty well. And there's one thing that I do that I forget that a lot of people in these speed runs do, and not speed runs, solo runs do, is they get rid of their party. Me, as you see, my Pidgey, my Paris, and my Lapras is still with me hanging around. So I forgot to put them in my box. But that's okay. Um, and you see Gengar's time is 4 hours and 19 minutes. Okay, you know, if I did something a little bit different, I could probably get sub four hours, but we're going to just take it four hours and 19 minutes is what it is, um, and we'll see what Alakazam can do, because Alakazam is going to be next, and here is the rankings, and you can see Gengar has taken the top spot over Nidoking, Nidoking is now second, Golem and Machamp are third and fourth, and you can see the big differentials that you can see, and what I want to point out is this is speed and special versus attack and defense. It's speed and special is always going to win out in these break, in these battles, and you can see why when we went up against the final 26. So yeah, we'll be doing the Alakazam run soon. If you want to see somebody else, another Pokemon, you want to see me do a battle against some other Pokemon, let me know. Um, definitely hit the like, hit the dislike, hit the I hate you comment. Want to do comment text? Cool, do it again. I'm I'm all for it. Want to do comment E? 
I don't care. Uh, give me some more. Subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think. And yes, we will be doing Alakazam Run soon. And you folks have a wonderful evening. Take care.